So this is the photon wave. Uh, you're going to see a picture, but I will tell you, uh, nobody sits in front of it like this without a, a curtain over their head, which we'll show you in a minute. So because I'm going to show it over here, it's easier to see this because it's blown up. You, it comes with this machine. This is, everything's in it. It's all computerized. You figure out exactly what's going on. We have a list of different illnesses. We test on the illness to figure out, and then you program it in here. She's got about 95 different programs. And then you put this, you sit in front of it with this over your head so that no extra light goes in, and you get a treatment. And so uh, the treatments are like, the eye, two different eyes get it actually different colors often, but they're blended, and then it might change like two or three times in a treatment. Um, I'm going to talk about this in a moment more. This is um, the photon wave um, has different detox programs in it. Um, and she can, you can take, this is Leona, she's in Europe, and you can buy this through Debbie in the back if you want. Um, so you can, this, what's unique about this system as opposed to the other system is there's something inside here that looks like our signal enhancers. And you see it's got a hole in it. So with this, you put the, the hole in front of the light or next to the light. You know how when we're using the signal enhancers, you know, we could put something over next to it and it gets sprayed, right? So the difference is this is when we want to take something out of the person. This is when we want to put it in. So it's, it's really, you see, um, so you can put the allergen next to it. Here's the light source. You put the allergen next to it and the allergen is pulled out. <coughs> Here, if you want to put in, there's a way to do that as well. And then here, you have your heavy metals. So you put the hole here, you're trying to take it out. So if you were to get this, you'd get a whole manual to explain it even more. Um, how much time do I have? Like, like nothing? Yeah, you have time. You have time. Okay. Like 15 more minutes or so. Or? Oh, okay. Um, so this is just like a little, I had another exercise. If you just wanted to breathe in certain colors into your body, it's more like a meditation. These are more of the products so that you understand. So um, red is for healing infections in dental. If you do do it in your mouth, please do it really quick. It's great if you have an assistant because you do not want to shine a red light in anybody's mouth for too long. Um, green lasers for calming nerves and for stress. Um, it's antibacterial and it really calms people. After my clients leave, if it was a stressful appointment, I always clean myself with green. Um, the blue and purple is for calming nerves and stress, relieves fever, adjusts biological clock, and it's good for the pituitary and the pineal glands. A turquoise laser is for connecting with the spiritual realm. The mercury detox laser, she has that in the back. We use that for the energetic detox. You can also use it for removing mercury. Um, I would probably shine it on my head too. And then the infrared, um, that's when we were shining it up here to see the DNA level. And then we have something called the sweeping motion lamp. So, um, so after you finish working with the client, you're putting the colors into them. You know, you're, you're putting the prescription with the color, with the lasers, that's how I do it. So, you plug it in. I, I don't want to do this all the time, and I don't want the stuff bouncing back at me. So you can use this product. Dr. Klinghart uses this. So does uh, Mark uh, Short. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a little pricey. It's pricey. It's pricey, we but it's carry them here, but we can get them for you if you want them. They're, again, they're another European one, just like the photon one. We don't, we don't, I don't sell them see here. it. Do we see it? We can arrange for you to get it. Yeah. Is it on? It should be. Maybe it's charging up. They are very nice and they do work super well because you can kind of put it on and step out of the room and the patient says, That's my broker. Oh, there you are. What? Yeah. Nice to step out of the room. Yeah, and you can step out of the room. It's like having go. the extra client, you know. Um, 
It's yeah. going. You see, so it goes up and down. I think there's two colors, right? Yeah, there's two different. This one is a, a turquoise one. I don't know. You can't see it on that wall. Turquoise can and green. Yeah, you can see it. Up. You can totally see it. And you can adjust it based on someone on the table. As Dr. Klimar does, if you're a patient, you can leave while you're getting treatment, you know, and go clear himself and come back and see how you're doing. Put some remedies in front of it. I'm so also the violet one, too. It's like a signal enhancer with the remedies. Yeah, so you put this you put right, the in front. Enhancer in right in front of it. And so then you're basically, it's like similar to that in terms of giving them a treatment with yeah. this. So I won't show any more, but it's pretty interesting. It's basically just like using the other um, enhancer that we have that many of you have with, right? Yeah. This. It's it does the same thing. Up and down and up and down. You from standing there and sweeping the light in. Would, uh, if you have like young active clients, uh, could you like set that up so the whole room was being sweeped and they could be like doing play therapy or something while they're getting, you know, they could be like, possibly. you possibly yeah, could, could you could do that. And you sweep the whole room and they turn it all play and they don't even know they're getting it. Yeah, but you do see it going up and down. You definitely see it. Wow. Yeah. They like it. It's like a light show. Um, some of his patients order them, um, and they do treatments at night while the children are sleeping. You know, twins in the bed or something. And they've, they've called to order these, and I've arranged for them to get them and purchase them. You know, so. The other thing I just want to say about the photon wave, different from the other machines, is that does have a frequency in it, so you're getting the color and the frequency. Some people love frequency, some people don't, but it definitely makes the, um, it goes in deeper. Just wanted to put that out there. Photon wave, <laughs> yeah. You can have a chance later. You could try it. Try it later. We'll help you with it. You'll have, if you really want, you're interested, let us know. Something like that. And just, just so you know, I would um, the the list of all the different um, treatments. I would use ART to determine which one to do. Okay, I'm going to put it over here, and we'll explain it later. Um, so I'm going to show them too with the. Oh, are you going to do like the sweep with the laser? They're gonna do the sweep with them. They're just like, so well, you, sure yeah. Yeah. Oh. you mean like, you I'm getting you. You need to know how to use that, yeah. This is how I, you know, after I finish with the client, I always put whatever remedies I just came up with into them, like this. And I go up about nine or 10 times, then I do their hands and their ears. Especially if I just did a huge APN treatment, I do this just to calm them down so they could drive home. <laughs> the soles of the, yeah, I'll just go everywhere. Yeah, this is um, a great tool if you didn't have it and if we ran out. Um, I know Debbie had the ones with the, with the um, little area here for slides. She doesn't have any right now, but she's taking a list if you want it so you can use it for slides. Um, you use this for the energetic detox as well, which you're going to learn later with Doug Phillips. Okay? So I, I really like this. This is a great tool. I would definitely suggest this in your punch. Okay, here we have another one. I don't. I don't use this one as much, but there's a whole treatment with this light, um, and you should definitely follow the sequence that Dr. Klinghart did of how to use it. You start on different sides depending if you're a man or a woman. That one. Okay, the other thing I wanted to explain was, okay, this is the, this is the, the mercury one. The, you can see it's purple. This one you can also use for the energetic detox. Okay, this we have in the back. And then the last thing that I wanted to explain to you was the um, Remedy Maker. Even though it's not light, it does use frequency. So the Remedy Maker comes with um, an attachment. Did you do so? It's like, it's about out to here with a, a red laser attached to it. I use my, red, my signal, this thing, my Remedy Maker quite a lot because I can't do neural therapy. So people come into me and they have scars and they're blocked. So what I do is I put I test them and see if they're good for procaine. I stick the procaine on there, and then I literally go over their scar until they're not testing anymore. That's a big thing. Sometimes uh, I'm in the middle of a, of a um, session and somebody needs a homeopathic. I'll just, you know, that they need a seasonal allergy or something. I'll just copy it and then give it to them. You put the vial here with the, the nine parts water to the one part alcohol that we talked about. And I make my own remedy for the person. Um, yeah, there's so many uses for this. I feel like I'm, it's, it's a fabulous tool. That's all I'm saying is, and if, if Canada, which some of you guys were talking about, you can't cross the border because of homeopathics are being confiscated, get your uh, mother tinctures and make yours because they'll save you. Yeah. Are you going to do a demonstration?
Yeah, I could do a demonstration. Do you have the, um, what do you want to see? Do you want to see the, do you want to get the laser that attaches to it? Yeah, I don't, where, Lynn, do you have the laser that goes on that? I could just show you how to make a remedy super quick. Hop, hop, hop. Oh. oh, the other thing is, here's the, um, the colored glasses, which you know. I, I literally say to clients, you need to be in, in lemon for the next three weeks. Would you just please go buy a $12 pair of glasses and walk around for 10 minutes every day? And they all complain. I go, you brush your teeth every day. You can wear a lemon pair of glasses. I just, there's no excuse for not healing yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of the colored glasses, this is like a, a popular topic now with blue blocking glasses. And a lot of people wearing the yellow or red glasses at yes. night before bed to preserve yes. melatonin. So can there be unforeseen effects like that people aren't talking about? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not knowledgeable enough to speak about that. If there's somebody else that wants to answer that question. Well, maybe if you freeze the other way, could you overdose on the color? Can you overdose on a color? No, actually, there's a saturation level and your body stops. But you can have massive detox reactions from color therapy. Okay. Yeah. Don't fool yourself to think yeah. that it's that not have any ill effect yeah. on color. Disorder. Yeah. And nobody's really talking about that, you know? Sure. There's, there's a term called malillumination, which you can look at, and that's where some of the blue blocking stuff comes out of it. It encompasses more than color, it also encompasses flavor effects and things like that. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering if the glass okay. can be harmful. So, uh, yeah, everybody's like, blue blocking glass. Whether or not you create a good choice, you may create a relative deficiency. Yeah, that's a great one. Can I just so, make some? Like you said, blue blocking. But the reality is, it's just where blue. Yeah. Blue-green blocking it from the sunset. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So how I would use this is I would just put it on. There's two parts to it. There's an input and output, and this is the uh, piece that's attached to it. And so I put it on. I tested her. She does great with Kayana because she needs it because she's autoimmune. <laughs> Whatever. Or whatever, it could be procaine. And so let's say she has a scar here. So what I do is I just put it on the input. This is my output. I put it on continuous and I just trace up and down over her scar. And then I'll just retest to see when it's open. Yes. So having the laser go through the machine means it's not bi-directional? It doesn't go, her energy's not going No, no, it's just one direction. This is how it's done, okay? Thank you. The other thing is, I really love this, and I want my client to have it right this second. So I put it over here on the output, and I push copy. So I make a copy of it, and then she drinks it. That's one way. Okay, or I can make it, so let's say I have something like saliva, and I want to make a, um, a homeocord of it because it's the perfect match for her, then I would do a make and make goes, take, takes it and puts it into the, all the different homeopathic remedies, there's a bunch, and then it would be in here. So this could be given to her either a drink or probably not, or probably more of a, um, a tincture. You know, I'd give it to her as a homeopathic. They take it home. They take it home they and they use it. Together. Yeah. Yeah. What's the best, um, like, to put in the water something that you can see, like, what would you use electrolytes? Just, just like a, like a doctor? Yeah. Okay, so is there anything else? I think I got most of it. Oh, that's me. Okay, so if anybody has any questions about any of the products, they can call me or text me, please. And I'll be happy to share the products. Um, there's going to be the photon wave here if you want to experience it. Um, have fun with color. Really, have fun. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That. You know, and, you know, the tools thing she added in at the end because some people had questions and it kind of fit in with place. So, you know, by knowing this piece of the expert, she's the expert in how she uses these. Any of the people, Andriana's here, and any of the practitioners that are here use these all the time. For those who are staying and have more questions about it, Dr. Clinkhart uses a lot of these things. You can even ask him to go in depth. It's something it's just an introduction to the many ways you can work with color and light and tools that it uses in this